Tomoharo Natsume is a high school student living in a huge house who paid for his brother from abroad. His friend Takuma really wants to find hidden places in the house, but only Tomoharu could see the ghost girl Mizao. A friend of his brother visits him to make sure the unknown suitcase is safe. She also doesn't see Miso, but she doesn't speak, she doesn't say anything. Takuma wants to know what's in the suitcase, but after throwing it off the balcony, not a single scratch is left on it. At night breaking the window, an unknown girl flew to him and asked about someone. Happy New Year at school, Tomoharu. Takuma and Anne were in the same class again. In the hallway, he sees a girl, Takatsuki, who looks like her attacker. But for touching the girl, Reiko pushed him away and scolded him. He also learned from Takuma that his brother's friend Shuri has been studying here for the second year. Tomoharu found her at the science club, where she promised to tell her more about the suitcase and miss out if he joined. On the street, and dissuades him because there are bad rumors about Shuri. On the way home, Misao also expresses her distrust of the science club to him. Upon arrival home, he is tied up by some mafia group. They tie up Tomoharu and ask him where the extractor is. Shuri bursts in, possessing unnatural powers. She communicates with their leader, but another gang immediately arrives and Tomoharu quietly sneaks into the attic to the suitcase. There he is surrounded by the leaders of each group who are asked to give or open the suitcase. He listens to Shuri and Misao and opens it. Strange dark matter began to ooze from it. She started wrapping herself around Tomoharu. In the morning, he wakes up next to Shuri. She acts completely normal and says that she is an ordinary person, and finds them in an awkward position because she wanted to call him for a morning workout. She notices a battered house, but Tomoharu blames everything on a gas explosion. After school, he goes to report on the house. It was a huge territory. The owner himself wanted to personally meet Tomoharu. He himself lived in a small hut. The guy began to apologize and promises to pay all the damage, but in response, the owner said in the future to make the right choice. As he exits the hut, he sees Takatsuki. She starts to run away, but Tomoharu, who runs after her, rolls down the mountain. He wakes up in the same house with her, where she reveals that she is actually a demon and that she was in his house. Misao notices the gang has arrived, the one he had last night. It turns out that one of the leaders of the gang was her father. They call him a tamer. At school, he is called through loudspeakers to the council office, where he sees the second head of another gang. He invites Tomoharu to his student council. Reishiro Seiki threatens with a gun for refusing and shoots his phone. At the sound of a gunshot, Takatsuki runs to Tomoharu. She interrupts the assistance, but Seiki summons a warrior. Misao tries to hold him back, dissolves due to his punch and something has changed in Tomoharu. Takatsuki orders him to run while she tries to hold him back. Takatsuki was detained for attacking the student council. Tomoharu couldn't leave her and came back for her. There he met the same illusion as Mizo, Ain. She asks to forget about Takatsuki and says that his illusion will return soon. Ain points to the clock tower where Takatsuki's trial takes place. He breaks into the hall and threatens everyone that he will open the suitcase again. But when you open it, only forms fly out of it. Shuri replaced the suitcase in order for Tomoharu to join her club. Both of them have to run. They hide in the room where Shuri was waiting for them. Takatsuki and Tomoharu sign her form in blood and she helps them out. Rishiro called his fighter and he chased after them. Shuri ran out of ammunition, and the fighter was already close. But here the same fighter will come out, but fighting for Tomoharu. It turns out that these fighters were those illusions. Fighter Misao defeats Ain, but Tomoharu prevents her from being killed inside the suit. Misao appears in his usual form and Shuri shows the completed form and Ristro steps back. Takuma also joined the science club. With their composition, they went to nature, where they were supposed to find a monster, while resting in parallel. Reishiro and Reiko were brother and sister, and Ain was their cousin. At night, the president of the second student council, Kurosawa Rika, arrives to them. She was chasing that monster with a bait, Shumahiwa. Shuri helps them, but the monster hides in the river. They communicate in the house when suddenly the monster itself appears to them. Shu on the motorcycle again works his bait, driving the monster away. Rika releases his fighter, and he starts to kill the monster. Tomoharu has to release Miso as well to protect the monster, because they need him alive. Rika wants to get him for the money, but the monster turns out to be the guardian and saves Shu from the missiles. After defeating him, he turns into a non-aggressive creature. Now the monster no longer exists, and Shuri and Rika already share the reward. On the road, Tomoharu and Miso see Soak Shuri unconscious. They carry her home, where they warm and dry her. Upon awakening, she does not remember anyone and introduces herself as Kurosaki Yukari. She felt better the next morning, but Tomoharu left her at home for the time being. At school, his health worsened. Rishiro reports that Shuri has not been at school for the second week and asks to be careful. 
Tomoharu and Misao go to her house, which turns out to be a church. It contained Yosu Sugihara, who was simply praying there. Upon arriving home, Yukari reveals that she found a room with more of these suitcases. Inside, they are attacked. A small puppet, swinging an axe, wants to get a stabilizer. Yukari's suitcase. Shu appeared behind him with his guardian. They seal a suitcase on order and Yukari passes out in Tomoharu's arms. The customer is Susugihara. Takatsuki and Shuri wake him up in the morning. Her memory is restored, but she doesn't want to say who Yukari is. She says that Yosu Sugihara was the former president of the first student council. She called Shuri and offered a deal, which was to exchange her stabilizer for her letter. Susugihara was already on the threshold of the house. The three of them started running. It was also able to summon her fighter and also wielded the space slicing technique. Along the way, Tomohara got even worse, but they were able to fly to the tenant's territory. There he is sent for treatment and Shuri has been fighting Yu for a long time. By evening, Tomohara comes to his senses and helps her by summoning Misao. The fighter exceeds all of Yu's expectations and can even hold a space gap. Misao saves the stabilizer, but both fighters disappear when they touch it. But after the contact, Mizuo gained a physical form and entered Tomohara's class. Everyone could see her, but she never forgot how to walk through walls. After such a fight, Shuri undergoes treatment and repairs to her weapons. Tomohara is a little jealous of Misuo because she has become less likely to be with him. Takuma brought him a magazine that contained the truth about Shuri. It turns out that then the two sisters Yukare and Shuri went to the first performance in England. Childhood friends Misao and Tomohara went to study. Yo was in her father's lab where the monsters attacked. The last wish of the father was the delivery of the suitcase to the Holy Guard. And now all these characters ended up in the same plane that crashed. At the crash site, Yo immediately found her suitcase and saw two sisters she had been friends with before. Yukari was no longer breathing and Yo accidentally opened her father's suitcase next to them. Then a ritual took place that made Yukari a funeral doll for Yo, and Shuri was able to survive. Misao also died in this accident and her ghost followed Tomoharu the whole time. Tomoharu received a postcard from his brother in which he wrote to take care of the demonic child. The doorbell sounded. It was the Takatsuki clan who had come with a request. They asked Tomoharu to become Takatsuki's personal bodyguard. Helicopter blades were heard. They were Shuri with her demonic child, Anya. She was a luck eater. Her ability to bite could take away luck and vice versa when kissed. Tomohara was immediately bitten and could not even stand on his feet. She decided to settle in a closet and with her request, she pestered Tomohara in every possible way. Anya was a child prodigy. She jumped over the class several times. At school, she immediately showed an excellent result and said that they were going to have a party in honor of the new student. In the dressing room, Rei Shiro and Yo came to them. They wanted to ask Anya because recently they were found dead with bleeding wounds. Anya was offended, quietly bit Rei Shiro and ran away. Tomoharu and the girls found her on the street where she confessed that she came here to study Miss Ao. When she calmed down, she asked Tomoharu to accompany her to the infirmary with the wounded because her sister could be to blame. There, Anya gives her luck to one of the wounded, thus giving him more hope of survival. Explosions are heard above them. It was Rei Shiro with a squad who stumbled upon the demon hunter. Cloak of Azura, creatures that manage to tame two powers. Rei Shiro says that only Tomoharu is the closest to this state right now. Reiko informs him that Azura's current cloak attacked the squad and her brother was sent there. She asks him for help in this, but not having time to leave, Rishiro is already taking the wounded man to the hospital. Anya was always offended by Tomoharu, because she believed that tamers like him made his sister like that. Tomoharu took her to the library, where they found her sister's graduation album. On the street, he sees Takaya Kabakagari, a tamer like him. He calls him with him, but when he hears a refusal, he attacks him. The girls immediately ran to help, but when they saw Ania, they stopped attacking and flew away, taking her away. Tamarada was confused by what had happened. They report this to Shuri, who has already found out who the tamer is from Rei Shiro. Ania is brought to her sister Christina, who has been exhausted from lack of luck. She fed the separator needed for Kavakagari. At this time, Shuri and the others found Takaya's room. In it, Misao hears voices pointing to clues. They found a map that indicated that Kagakagari was in an old theater. Christina dissuades Anya from staying here like her. Shuri told Yo the location of Kabakagari. Anya decided to try increasing the failure in the separator. The detachment has already arrived and, at the request of Anya, they are going to break the car. Christina takes her sister in and takes her inside for protection. Azura's cloak and Kagakagari's fighter protect the device. With the help of the fighter Tomurahu, they were able to cause the separator to explode. 
but Kagakagari was able to escape with Christina. At school, Reiko accidentally twisted her leg because of Tomoharu, who took her home on a bicycle. Almost at home, her brother comes out and invites her to the party. Already there, it turns out everyone was invited. There they are met by Ain's mother, who died in the same plane crash. It turns out that it was the anniversary of death and instead of a solemn ceremony, they are having a party. Everyone who had a number performed on the stage in turn. At the end, they promised to announce the results in points. Tamohara and Misa were declared the winners. Ricky didn't agree, but when she saw the prize, she threw it into the crowd herself. The guests have left and the family has already begun planning a party for next year. Soon the school class went on an excursion to Hawaii. Tamoharu accidentally smashed the gift figurine, but there was an interesting detail inside. Shuri said on the phone that Kagakagari might come for the part and give it to the local council president. On the way to the president, as for evil, he was already there and attacked them. President Rika was nearby, she helps them. Kagakagari forms a circuit of demonic forces by combining their forces. Tamohara releases the Mizao fighter and the president of the third council, Toru, has already reflected his projectiles. Kagakagari retreated because he saw his weakness in this position. Takatsuki burst into tears as she made a promise from Tamohara that she would no longer use Mizao's power. They were in the room when suddenly Ain appeared for a moment and asked for help. This confused everyone and then the news reported the loss of Flight 933 in which Shuri, Reishiro and the others flew. Tamohara received a call from Kaakagari who offered a deal, namely a part in exchange for this flight. He called them again and told him where the part would be delivered and Tamohara immediately moved out. He shouldn't have reported this to the presidents. Takatsuki also arrived at the scene with him. They were transferred to the roof of the plane where time was slowed down for passengers. The part was handed over and Takatsuki and Tamohara were locked away. The demon pulled them out, but by this time the presidents and the rest of the warriors had arrived. They broke the chains holding time on the plane and Kagakagari decided to escape again. The plane had an engine failure, and the flight was left for five minutes. Tamohara decided to start balancing the plane in order to increase altitude and reach the runway. Rishiro jumped out of the plane with Kurosaki and made the runway out of the ice himself. Everything went well, but after getting off the plane, Tamoharu sees that Ain is no more because having exhausted all emotions, the ghost disappears.